New Zealand's South Island gets all the glory. Most people will tell you the South Island is better than the North. This season, we're gonna show you why we have fallen in love with the North Island. This week on Always an Adventure with Kids. This spot is too hot. This spot is just too cold. Today, we have more family visiting. Chris's mom, dad, and older brother. We are so thrilled to play tour guides and share some of the best spots in the North Island. Join us as we revisit some favorite spots and venture to some new gems. First, it's time to pick them up from the airport. Let's go get Grandpa. Let's go get Grandma. You want me to drive, Haley? No. After picking up Chris's family, we drove them all the way up to the North Shore. The kids had their final junior surf life-saving session. Throughout the summer, the boys have been participating in junior surf life-saving. We absolutely love it. Junior Surf is a program designed to develop future lifeguards. It's full of games and races on both land and water. Chris was especially excited for the boys to participate because it brings him back to his lifeguarding days. Although this was the last session and mainly the prize giving, it was still nice to share it with family. It gave them a little glimpse into our lives. Once finished, Chris's brother Mikey took Henry out to catch some waves on a nipper board. We used to surf and spend a lot of time in the water together back in the U.S. It was nice to be able to do it again here in New Zealand. After some rest at our house, it was time to take the grandparents and Mikey on a New Zealand adventure. Our first stop, the Coromandel Peninsula, where we plan to visit Cathedral Cove and Hotwater Beach. So we've been to Hot Water Beach before a few times. Once when we first moved here, once with my cousin Brandon, and now again with Chris's family. It's one of those iconic places in New Zealand that you have to visit. How crazy is it that you can dig yourself a hole and hot water will seep up, creating a little hot tub for you. We have family here from the United States. We decided to take them to some of the best spots in New Zealand. Our first stop on our little mini road trip is Hot Water Beach. Ooh. Oh, don't splash me, Hallie. Don't splash me. Oh, no, no. <laughs> So we remember the book idea. We have a book idea inspired by Hobie. He said he was in the spot that said it was just right. And then we thought about Goldilocks and the Three Bears. So I think we're going to write a children's book called Goldilocks Goes to Hot Water Beach or Goldilocks Goes to New Zealand. Looking for some more ideas. If you have any ideas, post below. Surfing waves are just the right size. This spot is too hot. This spot is just too cold. This way, this way. As the tide was rising, it was time for us to head out. At high tide, the hot water spot is completely covered by waves. The next spot we're heading to is called Cathedral Cove. What did you guys think of Hot Water Beach? 
it was hot. There are certain spots where you dug a hole and it was completely cold, and other spots, by happenstance, it was super hot. I mean, burning hot. So you gotta find the right mixture, mix it up, and then once you get the two connected, you gotta keep the water flowing to keep it at the temperature you want. Yeah, we were lucky we got a nice spot. It's real nice. The trick is to, go, clean beach. to find a spot that people have already dug, and when they leave, you take it over. Then you don't have to do all the work of digging. That's the way to go. Beautiful, beautiful colors here. What did you think of Hot Water Beach? I thought Hot Water Beach was just a beautiful place and a beautiful experience for adults, but also, importantly, to children. Hey guys. Hello. Made it. Whew. All right. We caught ya. Wasn't too bad. It only took us eight minutes to get from the beach to the Two lookout minutes. where we dropped you guys off at. Thirteen Who? minutes to here. Who's the sweatiest? I give in. Oh, me. Last time we took the shuttle. This time we dropped off people at the trailhead, then ran from a parking spot on the beach to the trail. Not sure if you've noticed, but the Matulai boys love red shorts. This is a common theme you may start to notice now that we've pointed it out. The map to the treasure. Oh, you want to know how I got the treasure map? It was very hard to come by. So, this is Chris's older brother, Mikey. He's a really cool guy and an awesome uncle. He took our boys on a treasure hunt around Mackinac Island before we left for New Zealand. They still remember it and talk about it often. They have so many questions and we're happy to get to talk to Mikey about it. It was, it was beneath the water, underneath a pile of rocks, and I could tell there was something there because there was a big X on one of the rocks. Huh. And so I picked up the rock and then I could see underneath there was a map. And so I grabbed it and that's how I found it. Where, what? This was day. What about the treasure? The treasure? Yeah, what about the treasure? The treasure was in a cave, and the people who buried it must have been kind of small because it was down low. Mm -hmm. And that's why you guys could find it because it was down low. Whenever we visit Mackinac Island, Mikey shows us around and takes us to some awesome spots. He knows the island so well. If you're ever there, you can actually hire him as your own private tour guide. You can check him out at Inside Out Tours of Mackinac Island. I found, a, I found a silver fern. Oh cool, flip it over. So one side is green and the other side is? Silver. Nice. This is called silver fern. Me and mommy. Learned about this when we were going zip lining in yeah. Rotorua. Yeah. If you time it right with the tide and the waves, you can walk through the cave to the other beach. It's really pretty over there. Doesn't matter where we go, the boys can be found climbing and climbing, climbing higher. Hey Dan, it's shower time. Okay. The waterfall, okay? Okay. Woo! <laughs> 
Chris was a lifeguard back in California. He really enjoys teaching the boys water safety. It's been a great start to our road trip with Chris's family. We're having a really good time playing tour guides and sharing why we've fallen in love with this amazing country. We're really looking forward to the next part of our journey. Join us next time as we continue to play tour guide with Chris's family. Our journey takes us to some of the most amazing places New Zealand has to offer. Please subscribe so we can take you on our next adventure. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode. This season is going to be good.